Welcome to my lecture online. Our next identity is a really interesting one. It only involves one Welcome to our lecture online. Our next identity is quite an interesting one because it only involves one vector field and we have an example there, f. And what it says is that if we take the curl of the vector field and then we take the curl of the curl of the vector field, that is equal to the divergence, or I should say, of the gradient of the divergence of the vector field minus the Laplace operator operating on the vector field. So, Kind of interesting. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but it is an interesting identity, and let's work it out to see if it's indeed true, at least in this example. So what we're going to do is we're going to first take the curl of the vector function, and then we're going to take the curl of the curl. That will take care of the left side of the equation. Then we need to find the divergence of the vector field. Then we need to take the gradient of the divergence. Then we need to use the Laplace operator operating on the vector field and then subtract one from the other and hopefully we end up with the same result. So let's go to the exercise and see what we end up with. So here we're going to take the curl of the vector field which is equal to the i component and the i component will be the partial derivative with respect to y of this which is going to be x times z minus the partial derivative with respect to z of this which is zero minus the j component and the j component will be the partial of this of uh, the partial with respect to x of this which is y times z minus and that will give us the partial with respect to z of this quantity which is also zero and then we have the k component and then here the k component we get the partial of this with respect to x which is zero and the partial of this with respect to y which is zero as well so we have no k component so this becomes x z in the i direction minus y z in the j direction and no k component so then we can plug those values in here and take the curl again so we have x times z we have a minus y times z and a zero so now let's let's take the curl of that and so we get the i component times, that would be 0, and this would be a minus y. So this is a minus times a minus y, which is a plus y. Minus the j component, we get the partial this, which is 0, and the partial with respect to z of this, which is x. And then the k component, so that would be plus k. And here we get the partial of this with respect to x minus a partial of this with respect to y so we get a 0k component again so this becomes y in the i direction minus and this should be a minus x let's see if I got that right uh, minus j and so we have this times this and this times this that would be yes that would be minus x so I forgot to put the minus in there and the minus times the minus is plus so plus x in the j direction and no k component so here we have the curl of the curl. And that will, be the, that will then be the left side of the equation. Let's see if we get the same result when we work out the right side. So first we need to find the divergence of our vector field, which is simply the der partial derivative with respect to x of the x component, the partial derivative with respect to y of the y component, plus the partial derivative of this with respect to z. All right, so this becomes equal to, that would be 2x, plus 2y and then plus the derivative of that with respect to z would be x times y. Now if we take the gradient of that we get a vector again and what that means is we're going to take the partial of all of this with respect to x in the i direction, the partial of all of this with respect to y in the j direction and the partial of this with respect to z in the k direction. Notice there's no z's there so we want to have a k component. So this becomes equal to 2 plus y in the i direction plus and we take the derivatives with respect to y we get 2 plus x in the j direction and no k component so that gives us this portion of the right side now we need to use the Laplace operator operating on the vector field we're going to take the second derivative of the first component with respect to x. So the first derivative would be 2x. 
the second derivative would be 2. So it would be 2 in the i direction. Same with the second component, the partial derivative with respect to y, actually the, the second partial derivative. So we get 2y, and then we take derivative again, we get 2. So it would be plus 2 in the j direction. And for the third component, when we take the second derivative with respect to z, we're going to get 0. So plus 0 in the k direction. So now we're going to subtract this result from this and see what we get. All right. So we take this right here. So this is equal to uh, 2 plus y in the i direction and plus 2 plus x in the j direction and subtract from that a 2i and a 2j. So notice that we'll get rid of the 2 here, that we'll get rid of the 2 there, and so that ends up with a y in the i direction plus x in the j direction, and that should be exactly the same as what we got on the left side, which is right here, y in the i direction plus x in the j direction, so these two are equal, so we just show that, yes, it does work in this particular instance, and that is identity number 7.